Hello everybody, welcome to Shuckers Wrap Up here at MGM Park. I'm your host Thaddeus Cruz and on Friday night the Biloxi Shuckers took on the Birmingham Barons in search of their third consecutive victory. Second inning, runners at the corners for Javier Betancourt and the red hot infielder smacks one through the hole on the left side, plating Jacob Nottingham. The Shuckers have a one to nothing lead at the end of two. Same score going into the fourth inning, Gabriel Noriega leads it off with an opposite field shot, his third of the season in a Shuckers uniform, RBI number 10, and the home team's lead is doubled to two. Same score in the sixth inning, Taylor Youngman cruising right through the Barons lineup until Eddie Alvarez crushes a hanging curveball deep to right field. Over the bleachers out there and the Shuckers lead is down to one after the shortstop's sixth home run of the season. Two batters later, the tying run at third and Youngman drops the hammer on Trey Miaucheski, his fifth strikeout of the night. The Shuckers starter would last six innings, allow one run on four hits for his first quality start of the season. Barons threatening in the eighth. Steven Peterson takes over with the bags full, facing off against Miao Chesky, and he gets his revenge. He shoots a single up the middle. That will score two as Joey DeMichael and Adam Engel score. And the Shuckers trail by a run at the end of seven and a half. But then to the bottom half of the inning, after Peter Tago records two quick outs, a walk to Betancourt, and Parker Berberet, who came into the game with just one hit, already had a double, and he comes through in the clutch for his team. Tago deals, swing a high fly ball deep towards right center field. Going back is Ingle to the track of the wall. Leaps and can't see. Goodbye. Who needs a gap shot when you get in a two-run home run? Berberet's two-run shot gives the Shuckers a one-run lead going into the ninth, which would be plenty for Stephen Colshin, who locked down his tenth save of the season by striking out the side to secure the Shuckers' four-to-three victory. A three-game winning streak now for Biloxi. All wins coming by the Grand total of just one run in each contest. For Berberet, that game-winning homer was his first since last August. Betancourt stretches his hitting streak to eight games with a two-for-three night with that run driven in and run scored. Also drew a walk in the Shuckers' victory. Steven Peterson, despite blowing the lead, picks up his eighth win of the year and leads the entire Shuckers pitching staff in that category. The series continues on Saturday night with Game 3 from MGM Park with left-handed pitcher Wei Chung Wong taking the mound for Biloxi. Also fans, just a reminder, there will be a post-game fireworks extraction Extravaganza presented by the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. First pitch is set for 7:10 p.m. with the gates opening at 6 p.m. For Shuckers Wrap Up, I'm Thaddeus Cruz.